Okay, back to carving uh, the spirit house thing. Um, you know, last night when I was done this piece and I looked at it, I sat back, had a sip of some water, and I was looking at the piece. I thought, you know, well, it kind of looks like a dickhead. Okay, so I did my best to cut it back and separate the top. I put this in there, and these would be shingled, this would be shingled, and this would be shingled. It, it wouldn't look so much like a dickhead when it was done, okay? But for the roof, the slope needs to be the opposite way. It needs to be this way, not rounded. And yeah, it does look like a dickhead. So one of my old friends uh, in Ladner here, um, he watches my YouTube videos, and he's like, he sends me a text message later that night. He goes, I watched your uh, your newest, because he watches, some, some of my friends watch my YouTube videos. But he's like, I watched your video about uh, the spirit house thing he goes can i give you a fourth uh can i give you a fourth uh because i said it's either going to be a clock it's going to be uh uh i don't know i said three things three options he goes can i give you a fourth i said sure he goes yeah well what about a big dickhead wood spirit house haha <laughs> i'm just bugging you joke but buddy i'm just joking i thought it would be good for a laugh i know he was joking but guys, this is what this is about. It's about thinking ahead of the game. I, and I told myself that that problem's already fixed, my friend. So I already fixed it, okay? I moved this aside. And after the video yesterday, I went and made this one, okay? This one was just getting too small, too thin. I'll cut this off and save this wood for another date. This is basswood, guys, and it was sent to me from Studio of the Lake, so it's very valuable. I don't want this carving to turn out to be a piece of crap because, well, it's basswood. So they started over again last night. So that's what it's about, guys. Staying ahead of the game. You know, I know he was just joking and stuff like that. And he's going to watch this video. And hey, Gordy, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I'm ahead of the game, my friend. You, you're not going to be able to. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. I know you're joking. So anyways, let's move forward. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to do the clock, guys. Lots of you. Lots of you guys said I should do a clock spirit, but I think, I don't know, I just think it kind of takes away from the house. It's just a little bit too much. I've already made a clock spirit. So, let's, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. I, what I'm going to do is start carving. I might just do a basic wood spirit on this. Maybe try and throw some bricks up here and stuff like that and a wood spirit down here. I don't know. I got I to gotta look at it and think about it more, right? Okay, but, so... You know, that here goes to show you guys, if you have a carving that you li don't like and something's not working out, don't be afraid to put it aside. I'll cut this off at a later date and start something new. Because if, you, if you're working on something that you just don't like, well, you're just wasting your time. You know, I've done what I could do to try and fix this and it didn't work. So I moved on to the next thing, right? So anyways, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've been sitting here for the last hour just staring at this piece, trying to open my mind, okay? I think this is going to be too tall for a fairy house or a troll house or whatever. Yeah, this is a troll house. This isn't a fairy house. So I'm going to cut this off down here, okay? I'll use this wood for something else. Um, and then I can start shaping it. I'm thinking that I want to have a wood spirit. Or just like a face and then the door comes inside of the mustache you know so kind of like a I don't know like a wizard thing kind of I might cut this off here too make it look a bit more leading I don't I don't I just don't know but I'm not quitting I'm not gonna quit okay so this is what I've come up with so far I like it a lot better shorter for sure I do um, I could have made it a, a split level and put like a little roof down here. I still can put a little side roof down here too and shingle it. But, um, I'm just kind of struggling with this because I haven't done too many of these kind of house things, but I've always wanted to do them. Um, okay. So I guess I'll start curving that wood spirit face in. I kind of want to make him look, uh, see if he can look a little bit angry. You know, because this is a wizard. This is a troll house. We'll call this one a troll house. Fairy house, whatever. They're all the same thing. So, you guys, I'll be using my cut saw. 1 8 Extreme Flame Burr. Um, cut saw 
or all this virus going on some days they have them in stock some days they don't so your best just looking uh, every day and uh, follow the description below to um, get to the cuts all site use code C fusion to save yourself five percent and for you the for for some of you that can't find the link below it's a little arrow on the right hand side of the bottom of the video just click that arrow and a whole bunch of others a menu will open up of uh, my descriptions and all my different links and stuff like that so just hit that little arrow on the right hand side okay so let's carve this wood spirit in okay guys so i thought i'd do give this part a voiceover this is carved at four times the speed okay so here i am just cutting on the outside of my lines i'm not really too used to carving this basswood so this is basically my first time carving a bigger project with this so just cu cutting on the outside of my lines and feathering everything away is what I'm doing right now. I'm drawing in my cheekbones, okay? Cutting and feathering away. Kind of rounding them lightly carving the eyebrows in taking some of the wood away to make the eyebrows exposed cutting deeper there beside the nose guys that's what will really make your nose pop see cutting deeper again deeper and deeper now below the nose cutting deeper and feathering away it's kind of rounding everything off now it was kind of challenging carving this bass with uh, with this extreme flame bird because there was like a saw, I'll explain later, but there was a soft and hard, different grades of wood inside the wood. So some soft spots, some hard spots. Draw your center lines in here, I'm doing my nostrils. See, you kind of make it loop around from the cheekbone. You can see how the no bottom of the nostril it hits the face, kind of loops from the cheek, the cheekbone there. Just cutting everything a bit deeper. Cutting the eyebrows in, feathering it away, the top of the eyebrows. Taking everything a bit lower. Just kind of rounding everything off. Yeah, again, I was actually quite struggling with this face. But just when you're struggling, guys, just keep cutting deeper, keep feathering until it, until it, it works out so you're happy with it. See, cutting, feathering, cutting, feathering. That's that's basically what it is. Cut deeper, cut deeper, feather, feather, cut deeper, feather. Okay. Yep. Here's Johnny. Okay, so that's what we got so far. You know, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to do a talk through when I'm doing this carving, but this some parts of, the, of this wood are inconsistent. That means some parts are uh, a lot softer than harder. And when you're carving with the power with the cut salt bit, it will just all of a sudden boom, dig in and dig deep. So 
you know, you guys, like I say, the deeper that you carve, the better. The deeper that you carve on this part of the nose right here, the better your nose is going to look, right? This this has been a, a this carving's been a little bit of a battle for me just because of the soft spots in the wood. But anyways, you got to keep on going. So what I'll do is I'll draw this, uh, redraw the, and don't be afraid to re redraw your center lines on, guys, and um, your mustache, right? So I'm going to redraw this on, and then I'll carve this uh, door out. Yep. Okay, guys, now I got the mustache carved in. It's all flush with all sides. Pretend this would just be a beard, right? So it's all, you see it's flush there. So now I want to talk about undercuts. I normally don't undercut the mustache, but I'm going to do it in this case. Just it will be easier to work the door in, right? So here's another cuts all bit. This is a taper burnt. It's not the extreme. It's less aggressive. And I'm going to go along inside here and undercut this mustache, right? So then things won't ride up. Things won't. Let me try and explain this. So things won't ride up onto the mustache, right? So it will look all separate. This will look separate from this. That's what undercut does. Okay, you guys, you can also get these. I'll be pulling this out later. This is a very fine quarter inch, uh, sorry, one eighth for your Dremel. Very, very fine for um, smoothing things out. Taper two. See, they also have the flame in very, very fine too. The very fine ones are the gold ones, guys, gold plated. Okay, so now since I got those undercuts in there, you can see the shadow effect, right? I got a bottom lip in there. So I undercut it and I feather away all my cuts, okay? So now I'm going to do what uh, Ben's Studio on the Lake does for his stop-start cuts, guys. I got this uh, cheap wood burner, wood burner here. Whole life. Whole life. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll be doing around this door. I'm going to cut this window right out because I will be making a light in here. Um, so I'm going to do all these lines with this uh, wood burner. And that's what you call stop start cuts. That's what Ben does with this bass wood anyways because it's super... Uh, soft wood and it takes a burn really good and you guys should have a fan blowing the uh, smoke away from you because it can be harmful so I'll get that done oops I wasn't recording um, I can't seem to find my fan so I'm not a hypocrite and uh, I'm just do got to get this done right so but you guys if you can get a fan to blow the smoke away from you it will be a lot better for your lungs, I guess. Okay. See what I can get right under that mustache now with my uh, undercut?
head out the window. Just let the burner do the cut, guys. Okay. That's that. Now since I got those cut in there, I don't know how deep it went. Now I can use my uh, cut saw bit to take away these, make the door frame stand out farther, right? So I'll take all this away, all here and then all here. So you guys get the idea how that works. I'll get this done and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I got so far. There's still a lot of, I still need to do a lot of deciding on this piece, people. But anyways, I got the door hollowed out because there'll be a, a little, uh, one of those LED lights in there. I'll be putting a plastic thing here, scuffing up and painting it. So it's this color and there'll be a light back there. Um, I might put a door here, like a different piece of wood over top of it. I gotta put the, the mustache hairs in, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do if I wanna put beard hairs in here. What I wanna do up there, I still gotta glue all the shingles on. I still gotta figure out what I wanna do with this chimney. There's still a lot of factors I gotta think about too. This has been a bit, fair bit of work, not too much, but a lot of thinking and processing going into this because it's the first one that I've done like this, right? So I'm going to leave this video here. Oh, I'm, I'm going to show you guys the burr that I used to haul it out too. This is like, I don't know what's like a reverse cone bit. Cuts all, it's extreme. It works really good for, for hauling stuff like this out too. And you can see it flares, right? Like out. So then you can get the flare cut inside there. And it cuts on the bottom too, right? So you can just push down and slowly work your way down inside there, right? Because I got to glue the plastic piece on the inside here that for the for the for the door window. If that makes sense. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna end this video here, and then we'll see if we can finish this piece up on the next video. So let me know what you think, guys. Hope everybody's doing good, and just uh, taking it easy. All right.